Hi, and welcome back to Simple Home and School. Today I'm going to talk about Pathway Readers. I'm going to do a flip through and a review of their books. Now, this is part of the second grade program, and this is part of the fourth grade program. The second grade program, if you purchase the bundle, it is $55 for the whole school year. That includes reading and phonics. And then if you want to add on the writing program, you can do it for only $10 if you decide to not buy the teacher's book. But if you want the teacher's book and the student book for the writing, that's only an extra $15. So for $70, you can get the whole reading, writing, and phonics program. And I think that is a great budget option. If you're on a budget and you want some good quality, wholesome um, curriculum for your students. So let's dive into um, the second grade more busy times real quick so you can see what the reader looks like and what the workbook looks like. So this is a Mennonite based um, curriculum. So and it is a faith based curriculum. So they will be talking about God um if that's something that you're not interested in, then this might not be the right curriculum for you. But since it is a Mennonite-based program, it is very wholesome stories, and a lot of them are character-building stories, so I really appreciate that. My children love these books. A lot of time during nap time, they will pick these books to read instead of their regular books. They just love them, um, and they will just the ones that they read in first grade, they'll read over and over. So it's fun to see that, and it's fun to see your children have a book that they really enjoy to read. So this is what the book looks like. Um, there's paragraph practice, which I appreciate. So sometimes in some of the lessons, we'll have you go back and find uh, the answer and write down where you found the answer. So you would say, you know, paragraph three, page 10. And that is a great skill for them just with their comprehension. You can see that the writing, the font is a little bit bigger on each page and they still have some pictures in each of the pages. So this is what one of the readers looks like and then let's look at the workbook. So it just starts off right away. I didn't have my daughter do everything in this. We actually used this at the end of our school year. We finished our reading program early and I wanted something that she really enjoyed and we had finished our phonics program too. So I just kept it short and sweet for her. So I crossed off the things I didn't want her to do. But you always have a word study of the new words um, that you're going to learn in each chapter. And then here's a phonics activity. Um, here's another, here's more phonics work. And then we would, so we would do, she would do all this work by herself. And then we would read this story together. We would usually popcorn read. Like she would read one, the left pages, and I would read the right pages. And then she would answer these. So, you know, where is this sentence? Page eight, paragraph two. You know, where is this sentence? Page 13, paragraph two. That's just great practice of actually going back in the book and looking for your answers. So actually... She told me what to write for this. I would read her this and I would write it and she would tell me what to write. And then she answered these on her own. So write four things for Rachel wish she was waiting on Dr. Smith while she was waiting on Dr. Smith. So write four questions Dr. Smith asked Rachel. So she's going back in the book if she doesn't remember and she's using this skill she just learned to look that up. And let's look, look at the next day. So your new words, your phonics practice, your word and phonics practice, some more. Then she reads the story. And then she does the answers by herself or we do them together and so on and so forth. So it's kind of the same every day. You learn new words, then you have phonics practice, then we read, and then we do our comprehension so what I love about this is the stories are wholesome. They are character building stories. Um, I like all the characters in the stories and they're about the same age that she is. So they're very relational. Um, I liked the new word practice because they, not all the words, um, she knew always what they meant or how to pronounce them. 
my only thing that I didn't love is I felt like there was not any critical thinking questions. The questions that were asked for the comprehension were pretty basic. Like all of them could be found in the book. You're not thinking outside the box. You're not inferencing. And I know this is second grade, but you still can do that at a basic level to have higher order thinking. So that's the thing is I felt like I needed to read the stories with her so then I could ask her some more critical thinking questions at the end. If that's not very important to you um, or that that's not your focus with your student, then I think that they can do this individually all by themselves and that gives you a lot more freedom to work with your other students or do prep work or do other things while your student was working. She's still doing most of the lesson by herself. She's doing, you know, the whole phonics part and the new words by herself. We're just reading the story together and then she's doing all the comprehension for the most part by herself and then I ask some comprehension. So it gives you, and for me, I just had to spend a little bit more time. It wasn't all hands off for me, but it is a great program. Um, I have used um, the writing program, the Climbing Higher writing program too. It was not the right fit for us, but that is also a great basic introduction and use of writing that you can use in an inexpensive way or a budget way to teach writing skills to your student. So let's look at the fourth grade book. I actually got this from a friend. So there is some handwriting in it, but I really just wanted the reader for my um, daughter to have. So here is what the uh, reader looks like. The words, the font's a little bit smaller. There's still some pictures, but you can see that they're longer chapters okay and the book is a lot thicker than the first book there are several books for each grade level and then let's look at our workbook okay so we're still starting with our new words working with our new words putting them into sentences and then we are still practicing that skill of looking for the um, sentences and writing the page in the paragraph, which I think is such an amazing skill, and then doing our comprehension. So it's following the same pattern every year. So if you do this year after year, your student is going to know what to expect. They're going to be very comfortable with the program. So let's look at it again. New words, new words. You don't need to do phonics in the fourth grade if you've already mastered that skill, and then all of your comprehension. Okay, so this is a look at Pathway Readers. If you go to milestonebooks.com, they have, um, you look under the curriculum tab and you go to Pathway and they have reading, they have writing, and they have a phonics program that you can use. So check it out. It's a budget-friendly way to homeschool your children that is uses wholesome books and it really covers every facet that you need. I think this is a great resource to use for your student. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.